you know, basically this is a scenario where a nigga was not going to allow his bitch to leave. What's up with you? It's the ball smack top soil man live with you man vibing man. It's a beautiful day man um, I'm happy to be here with y'all Somber note though. I wanted to just come in and touch base on um, um, Young Javon Belcher uh, Young Javon Belcher of the Kansas City Chiefs Formerly of the Kansas City Chiefs. It's a horrible thing, man. You know what I'm saying? Youngster, um, promising career. Everything beautiful. Everything shining. Um, life in front of him. Um, kill his girlfriend. Blow her noodles out. And, and then go kill himself. Leaving his daughter, uh pretty much an orphan, but you know, she get raised by her grandmother. You know, I've heard of these types of scenarios happening before. I've known a motherfucker personally, you know, to do some shit like that, man. And you know, a lot of people is banging their heads and trying to understand why this motherfucker do this crazy shit. Well, you know, this motherfucker was a, a sensible motherfucker. Love is a motherfucker, man. Extreme Weenieism is some other shit. And suckerism, you feel me? You know, um, it's a lot of motherfuckers that cannot comprehend a bitch leaving. Apparently, you know, his 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 him and his bitch have been having problems. She went out to a Trey Songs concert with the homegirls, you know what I'm saying? Probably driving the vehicle that he bought for, rocking the clothes that he bought for, rocking some ice that he bought for, you know, out there looking real good. Ain't no telling, probably caught the bitch fucking somebody else, ain't no telling, man. You can always bounce back and get more bitches, man. Come on now, look, look, this nigga was an NFL player. You know, he's guaranteed to get more bitch. Motherfucker, a lot of motherfuckers trying to say motherfucker was suffering from head injuries and chronic encephalitis, uh, CTE or whatever the fuck that is from, from getting hit a lot, man. Fuck that bullshit, man. This is raw suckerism. You feel me? Fuck that bullshit. I know some niggas that wasn't even in the NFL. These regular motherfuckers. That when they bitch said, I'm leaving you, nigga. This nigga killed. Nigga kill up the whole house. Kill the bitch. Try to kill the kid. Then murk himself. You feel me? I done seen motherfuckers on the news and shit. You feel me? So, miss me with that sports injury shit. This is all suckerism, weenieism. My bitch came. My bitch is not free to go type of shit. Bring me back to some other shit. I remember, you know, some of my other videos I talk about motherfuckers using tack when they when they gonna leave a motherfucker, man. When you know you getting ready to dismiss a motherfucker and they some highly volatile, emotional, unstable type of motherfucker, bitch or nigga. You need to use tack in your dismissal methods, feel me? Or else some shit like this happens. You feel me? That bitch know that in her mind she was gonna leave that nigga. You know what I'm saying? So what she needed to do was when he confronted her, she needed to just remain silent, do whatever he said, fall back, be real docile, accept all. And then when that nigga was at practice, that bitch was supposed to pack up her shit and vanish. You feel me? And none of this would have happened, you know? But bitch probably was emotional. Bitch probably told him like, motherfucker, nigga, I'm leaving your motherfucking ass. Nigga, fuck you. And you know, that, that, that'll that make a nigga kill a bitch. Them, them, for, for motherfuckers out there that don't understand, them right combinations of words will have a bitch noodles blow the fuck out by certain niggas. And some certain bitches will blow a nigga noodles out for the same nigga tell a bitch some shit like that. A bitch turn around and kill you, nigga. You feel me? You better be knowing how to use some tact. Rest in peace to Javon Belcher, man. Um, you know, hey man, I'm gonna tell you straight out, man. A nigga like you should be forced to be reincarnated as a motherfucker with no arms and legs 
and be having to live in poverty for 80 motherfucking years for that shit you did right there, man. What the fuck, man? I can't, you know, I can't really be sorry for no shit like that. And if any motherfucker out there, you know, is like, hey, man, oh, man, you know, nigga had problems, oh, oh, you uh, show some respect for the dick. Man, fuck that shit, man. A nigga with paper, too, man. A nigga with paper. It's so easy. Nigga could have been it. So easy to be like, you know what, bitch? You free to go, bitch. I got you, bitch. I'm a... I'ma take care of you, bitch. I'ma, 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 I'ma give you some rent money. I'ma get, I'ma get you a car. He wasn't even married to the bitch, so it wasn't gonna cost him that motherfucker much. He could have cut a deal with the bitch, you know. Okay, bitch. I'ma give you three racks a month, bitch. Fuck it, you know. It's all good. Everything would have been lovely, man. You know. Damn shame. So niggas out there, man, you know, when your bitch get ready to leave, man, and you feeling all them emotions on the inside, man, you know what I'm saying? Always remember, man, you can always get another bitch, man. Now, I know there's like certain scenarios, you know, sometimes a nigga find out that, you know, a kid is not his and he been in it to win it five, six years and spent thousands and thousands of dollars and in love with the kid and the bitch done tortured him. Now I understand, you know, that, that hey, you know, I'm not saying that I would do that. I'm just saying that that, I, I could see the snappage, but, you know, niggas, Weenieism start with you, nigga. Niggas, niggas kill up shit, man. Behind bitches, man. You know, I, I, I never could really. I, I understand it. I understand how. I understand the emotions involved. But I never could see myself doing no shit like that. You know, it's a lot of weenie ass NFL motherfuckers, man. A lot of y'all niggas have major problems. With Bitches. And they be some toe up raggedy bitches, man, that you have major problems handling, man. A lot of niggas, I need to do like uh, seminars for NFL and NBA niggas so they can deal with these bitches. Because niggas be having um, um, all these bitches coming at them, but then niggas always fail to manage the bitches that they end up with properly. And it be some crazy shit, niggas. Niggas, niggas be like, I don't know, man. You know what I'm saying?